guys, my name is Isa and welcome back to Printstick. This is going to be the first of a video series where I will teach you how to get started with a digital planner from zero. Now, I would like everyone to be able to participate, so for a limited time, the planner that I'm going to show you in this video series will be entirely free and you can see how you can download it in the description below. The one thing that you do have to purchase if you want is the app GoodNotes, which is the one that I'm going to be using. If you already have another note-taking app installed, such as NoteShelf or Notability, you can follow along because the apps work similarly, but the one that I'm going to be showing is GoodNotes. So you may go ahead and get that one. That one is a paid app, around $8 on the App Store. You can check it out if you want. Now that you have downloaded your note-taking app as well as your planner, we are ready to begin. Okay, so the very first thing you need is to have your note-taking app installed. I'm using a GoodNotes 5, so I have it right here. Again, remember, you may be using a different one. You don't necessarily have to buy GoodNotes, although that's the one I'm going to be using for this video series, but you can also use Notability, Notes Shelf, Zoom Notes, etc. The next thing you need to do, of course, is to download the planner. So I'm going to go to the shop, printstick.shop. I'm going to go to where it says Planners. And I'm going to scroll down and go to the second page. And it's right here. This is the Printstick Planner. So tap there. You can choose between Monday Start or Sunday Start. And the difference is that all of the weeks and months will either start on Monday or Sunday. Now remember that this is an undated planner. So whichever version, Monday or Sunday, it'll come undated. So once you select the one you want, I'm going to go for Monday. Click on Add to Cart. And I'm ready to check out. Now, if you have a valid discount code, you can enter it here. Right now, I'm gonna use this one. Check the description of this video to see any available discounts and click on apply. Now, I need to enter a correct email address because this is the only way that the files will be sent to me. You can also get the download link right after finishing the purchase on the browser, but if you lose that window for any reason, then you will not be able to find your file. So make sure you enter the right email address here because that's where you will get a notification and you will get access to the item. If you want to keep up with Print6 updates, you can tick this box to be notified. Make sure to enter all of your info and when you're ready, click on continue to payment and complete order. Now, as I said, you do get a link right here to download the file, but you can also open your email and as you can see, you'll have a download link right here. So if you tap there, you will get to this page where it says download now. I'm going to do that. Download. Nothing seems to have happened, but if I tap on this arrow, you can see that the file is right here. Now you can see a gray square because the cover page is actually just a gray page. That's what I'm seeing. Now if I tap on this planner file, you'll see the pages that actually make the planner. And from here, you can click on this top right corner icon on the export or share icon. And what we want here is just open in GoodNotes. So here you would be able to send it to Notability, NoteShelf and other apps, but I'm using GoodNotes. So tap on open in GoodNotes, open. Since I didn't have any document selected in GoodNotes, it's just going to ask me to import the document. But if I had a document open, it's important that you select import as new document. Otherwise, this planner will be inserted in the middle of whichever document you had open already and neither of the files will work properly. So make sure to click on import as new document. And here I have my planner. So as I mentioned, the first page is just a gray um, square. We're going to see in other lessons how you can turn this into a nice cover page. But if I scroll, I start with my actual planner pages where I have my year, I have my tabs up here and you will be able to navigate the pages of your planner. Now, this planner is very well linked. So all of the weeks here from your monthly spread are actually linked. So I'm going to go back to March. So the top right corner of each box is actually linked to that week. So if I tap here, I'm going to go to week two of March. 
Now to see if that's the case, I can tap here to open my toolbar and with these four squares on the top left corner, I can see an overview of all of the pages included in my planner. The one that has this little blue outline surrounding it is the page that is currently selected. And here, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I can see that I have my monthly page of March and then I have one and this is my second week. So the link took me here from the monthly view. I'm gonna go back to my year just to show you all of the pages included. We started with the gray page for my cover. Then we have our yearly page. And then if I swipe, I get to a completely blank section. And that one is linked with this star here on the top right. And this is blank so that you can enter whatever you want. You could actually add stickers here and keep them handy. When you're planning, you can just click here, go to this page and find your stickers to use in your planner pages. Then if we keep going, we start with January, which again, you can tap on the link up here that says Jan, and that's gonna take you to this page. You have your boxes for your month, and you also have a few boxes on the right side to keep goals, special events, or something important. After this, if you swipe, you start having the weeks. Each month will have six weeks, and as I mentioned, I'm gonna show you this with the month of February. You have all these weeks linked. Now to go back to my monthly view from my weekly spread, I can simply click on Feb again and I'll go back here and I can select a different week. Now, right now it doesn't make a lot of sense because all of this is undated. We're gonna learn in the following lessons how you can date and add numbers to this page. For now it's all blank, but you keep going. You have the same thing all the way until December. I'm gonna open my last week here just to show you that when you swipe left, you get to your menu. Again, that is linked up here as well with the little pot icon. And here you can keep track of what meals you're gonna be having for a particular week. You have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And you also have a side to write which groceries you need to buy that week. If you keep going, you can either swipe or click on this finance icon on the top right and you get to this page where you can keep track of what you've spent, when, what you spent it on, what item did you get, and any notes or method of payment or something like that that you want to enter on the last column right here. Then I keep going and I get to my TV show tracker and here I can track any shows that I'm watching. So you just write down the name of the show, which season it is, the number of the season, and then which episodes you've seen. And lastly, we have our workout spread. So here you would enter which day you did the workout. I did it in this way because I don't necessarily exercise every single day of the week. I do it every two days, every three days. Sometimes I do do it every single day, but that's rare. So I just add the date here, which exercise I did, how long I did it for, and how I felt. And if I swipe left, I get to a completely white page. And you have this here because as you can see, no tabs are selected up here. So you can copy this page and add it behind any section or any month or week where you need more space to write more info or enter photos, anything like that. Then you have this blank page available. Then we keep swiping, we get to our dotted page in case that you want, again, a blank page, but you want some guidance to write straight or to arrange your photos you know, using this grid as a reference. And you keep going, you have your ruled page if you want some guidance when writing a long text. And you have some grid paper. Now, one cool little trick that I want to show you once you are at the very last page of your planner. And to know this, you can click on your squares here and here we are, there's nothing next to it. If I try to keep swiping, and I do it harder, kind of, it's gonna ask me if I want to add a new page. You can say yes, and then you'll create a new copy of that page. So let's say I'm writing or entering whatever I need and I run out of pages, I can just keep swiping and I'll create new pages. Okay, so that was it for this intro video on how the Printstick Planner works and how you can download it and install it on your iPad. So that was video one where you learned how to download and install your digital planner. I hope you liked this and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because I will be uploading more videos with more steps and more advanced skills in digital planning. So make sure you don't miss out on those. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.